Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Gonzali and welcome to a show that I like to call Reasons Live. Basically, it's a show dedicated specifically towards all of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, infinite reasons why you should choose life. Now before I get started, I do have a quick question if I may ask you. How are you doing today? I would truly love to hear what you have to say. And I hope you're doing great because you deserve to be doing good. Don't tell me you don't because you do. Now, the topic of today's episode is about careers. Getting to do a career that you enjoy or find enjoyable. And for me personally, besides the thing, my work with Green Autism and the brand, slash more importantly, actual charity I hope it to become one day, instead of the campaign it is right now, I would love to pursue a career in the history field, traveling the world, exploring all kinds of historical places like ooh, my personal favorite I dream of seeing, Mayan ruins, Aztec ruins, anything Mesoamerican really. And in a couple months from now, I'm going to take a big step to make this dream of a reality by launching my own historical blog to hopefully land somewhere. So that's the topic of today's episode, a career you enjoy. One more question. What kind of careers do you dream of having one day? Do you want to be a police guy, a fire dude, a hospital dude, a doctor man dude thing? Whatever you want to do. And even if it's not like a big thing on the radar of most people, sorry about my dog in the background, as long as it brings you joy and as long as it matters to you, that's all that matters. And your career is perfectly valid in doing so. So... Get out there. Take the necessary steps to build slash work your way up to that career you enjoy. Because that can be a reason of itself. Because I know we spend a lot of our time working. Like, I have a job now. And it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it eats up a significant portion of my time. So why not spend all that time you have to spend of your life, time that you won't get back? And yes, you still have time, though. So don't forget that. But why not spend all that time doing something you enjoy, not something you hate? So take my advice, all right? Build your way up to a job that you enjoy. One more thing before you get going. A quick 1v1 with you and me, if that's okay. Now, down in the link in the description below, I put five mental health resources for all of you out there struggling. For our LGBT friends watching this, I put the Trevor Project and the Trans Lifeline. For those of you out there who've unfortunately had to deal with sexual assault, I put the National Sexual Assault Hotline, and I put the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and the Crisis Text Line. Now, I know, right now, that might be just numbers to you, and I'm sure you've seen those numbers before. So here's the thing. I get it's a scary thing to call out and reach for help. I get it. I get it. I did it myself a couple of years ago, and it was terrifying, and I mean terrifying, dude. But I reached out for help. And it worked out in the end. So here's what I did. On top of putting their numbers, I put their web pages so you can check out something like their FAQ page, see what they're about internally and what happens when you call them. And what I want you to do is click the first link in the description below, okay? And that will take you to an article by BuzzFeed that explains exactly what happened in, in great detail, a lot better than I can explain, about what happens when you text the crisis text line or call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It's a really good article, and I think it can help you. Re uh, read. Yes, read that, and then see how you feel about calling in, okay? You're not impossible to get better. It's not impossible for you to get better, if you catch my drift. You're a lot more amazing than you think you are. Trust me. I had to learn this lesson the hard way myself, but I hope my words today were able to help you in any way possible in your journey towards recovery. My name is Matthew Ginzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.